Good morning and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Wednesday, May the 8th, 2024, and this is episode 4316. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome to today's Morning Manna. Today's episode, Old. (laughs) Stay tuned. Old. How old are you? How old am I? Well, I'm 73 years old. I tell people there's no such thing as retirement. You have to always have purpose. I was a pastor for 35 years. For 15 years, I had the joy of being a part of Christian Care Ministry in Melbourne, Florida. I've done a podcast since 2007. And in seven and a half years, I've done over 21,000 rides on Uber and Lyft. Now listen to what Joshua 13.1 says. Now Joshua was old, advanced in years, and the Lord said to him, You are old, (laughs) advanced in years. And there remains very much land yet to be possessed. Joshua must have felt really ancient after God himself called him old, advanced in years. Someone once said that an elderly person is any person who is 10 years older than you are. There's a funny story about three retirees, each with a hearing loss, who were taking a walk on a fine March day. One remarked to the other, Windy, isn't it? No, the second man replied, It's Thursday. (laughs) The third man chimed in, So am I. Let's stop and have a Coke. No, it wasn't thirsty. It was Thursday. There is a strong sense that once we are old, there's really nothing left we can do. But God, even while acknowledging Joshua's advanced years, tells him about a job that still needed to be done. He urged Joshua on to the higher things than just worrying about his retirement, speaking to him about the land that still remain to be possessed. No matter how much we have done in our lives, there are still many things yet to be accomplished. Evidentially, there is no retirement in the kingdom of God. Economists tell us that the very concept of retirement is a relatively new one that only came about in the mid-20th century. What would the body of Christ look like if all the retired older people didn't really retire, but found other ways to serve their church and their communities? Or what if, as God is suggesting to Joshua, they even went into other parts of the world? It seems clear from the Bible that the American view of retirement is far from God's view for his disciples. We saw that God required the priests who were older to stop carrying the ark and to step down from heavy labor as they advanced in age, but they were still available to help with lighter tasks. God's view of advancing age actually frees up retirees from the depressing idea of uselessness and challenges them and all of us to serve the Lord until the day he comes to take us home. So, yes, Joshua was old, advanced in years. But God said to him, Hey, Josh, there remains very much land yet to be possessed. So, Father, today, help us to be leaning in to your purpose for our life, regardless of what stage of age that we are in, 
what stage of life we are in, there are things that we can do to build your kingdom, bless your church, and bring other people to Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, have a great Wednesday. Till tomorrow morning, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy.